uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, I, I, I have nothing to say about Bly Madras. I, we've seen him in the minors. Uh, he's put up decent stats uh, in most of his years in the minors. Nothing spectacular. I don't know. It's I think it's just a minor league depth move. I don't know why now was the time to do that. Um, the 40-man moves were, were uh, both very, like, expected. Right? We, we came into the offseason thinking they added to add Montero, Flores, and Dingler. Um, and that's who they added, and nobody else. Uh, there were a couple of guys we thought that that might get a look, and there, there may have a couple of guys who do get selected. Uh, Andrew Magno was the the main one I was thinking of as a lefty reliever with a, with a pretty good you know low fastball, low nineties fastball. His touch ninety five, ninety six, but spins a couple really good breaking balls. Uh, and it's an, an interesting kind of arm slot for a lefty. It's a little bit over the top. You just don't see it very often. And, and his main issue is walks, but he pitched really well this year. And I could see somebody, you know, teams always want that lefty reliever who can get a couple guys out. So I think it wouldn't shock me if he gets taken. Uh, we, we even heard about a scout from a different organization who loved him when we were out in Erie. So hmm. we'll see. But yeah, nothing, nothing shocking there, at least not to me. Yeah, I wasn't surprised about anything either. I, I don't mm-hmm. think, uh, but what about you, Cameron? I mean, was there anything that really, Rob, uh, anything that stood out really at all? No, this morning I posted uh, on the Motor City Metrics uh, Twitter. Uh, there's a few obvious names that are expected to be protected, Flores and Dangler. Does anyone else get protected? Question mark. Um, no one else. Someone said Campos. Um, I think people have to remember that uh, if another team selects one of our players, they have to keep them on their 40-man roster and in the majors for the season. So Campos won't get taken. And then no one else had anyone else they thought would get protected. So I guess uh, Dingler and Flores it is. Uh, somebody was talking about Jake Holton too because of his numbers. I believe it was Jerry. Jerry from Yeah, uh, Jerry mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah, Jerry mentioned it. And that was actually not bad of an idea. Trey Cruz is another person a possibility, but he could so how it works, and I, I put this in my Motor City Bengals piece was I was also thinking about players that could be added to the 38 man roster on the minor league side of things, because we saw this last year where the Tigers lost, they lost a pitcher that they originally grabbed from Baltimore. The guy, the, the toilet seat guy, Chris, uh, what's the guy's oh, name? Was that last year? Or was that a couple of years ago? Maybe it was a couple of years um, ago. No, I had forgotten. Yeah. I forgot his, his name, but yeah, he had yeah. a funny last year. I think that was Dane Myers. I think he was the minor league rule five guy. Or was yeah. he a big league rule five guy? But he was a minor league rule five guy. Uh, yeah, I think so. And then he made it to the big leagues. Um, yeah, you never know. Like, uh, I you, I could see that happening maybe to Andrew Navigato. He's a similar kind of player to, to Dane Myers. Uh, I know that they loved him there in Erie. And he was kind of the heartbeat of that team until he got you know, slammed into by Jose Tena. But uh, such a, that's such a dirty play. I'm sorry. That was such a stupid, dirty play. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it's they don't, you know, they don't announce who they're putting on the minor league roster. So that's the stuff that we we just find that out when we find it out later. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, I thought that we might see another move today. We saw we didn't see a ton of them. Usually on on this day when you have the deadline to add guys to the forty man, you see a couple teams make trades where they'll trade. They've got too many guys they need to add, so they'll trade somebody already on their forty man. Uh, to a team that's got room and then pick up a, a prospect they like who's doesn't have to be protected yet. But we only saw one of those today, I think. And it was between Milwaukee and Cleveland? Uh, uh, Philly, Philly. Philly. Philly, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was, yeah, go ahead. You know, it's interesting. I thought that Hennefy was the obvious guy that was going to get, you know, the ax. He looked, you know, when he came up, he just he just looked like another reliever that was a guy who you call up to uh, play out the string of a lo- of a losing year, right? So I don't think that's a, a big deal. Uh, my question for you guys is this: How many years in a row have the Tigers made a Rule Five selection, and is this the year they don't? That I th- I want to say six or seven years in a row now. I think so they- too. Um, but yeah, I, I think they, they'd have the 10th pick this year. And so it wouldn't shock me at all if they don't take somebody. I mean, it, you, you might have a reliever you like at that spot. I can't think of anybody else that, but yeah, so you got Englert last year. Who did they take the year before? Was that, um, oh, was shit. that, was that Badu? Was it Badu the year before? Was no, there was the a year, year in between. No, no. Yeah. Maybe they didn't take somebody that year. Hmm. They must've. 
I think they did. Yeah. Um, I'm, why am I drawing a blank? But uh, yeah, I mean, they, they had David McKay. They had Victor Reyes. Uh, it may have been the year before Reyes, and then they didn't take anybody. But even it was like, a lefty. You know, it was a it was a lefty pitcher, according to the bottom boom in the chat. Ronnie Garcia. Ronnie Garcia. Yeah, Ronnie Ronnie Garcia. Garcia. <laughs> there you go. Who they just released this year? Yeah. So they used the number one <laughs> rule five pick in that. Um. So yeah, that's that's a good question. But yeah, I I, I wouldn't be shocked in the slightest if they don't use somebody this year. I think they have enough. I mean, it all always depends on who's available, but 10 picks in. I, you know, Knowing Scott like Harris, they're going to pick someone. You're lucky if you get one solid, interesting, not even solid, like one major leaguer out of each Rule 5 draft for, for all the picks. So, I mean, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I, mean, I thought that they were creative with Englert, and for a while it looked like a really good move, and then he kind of got exposed as the season went along, but... That's what you expect from a Rule 5 guy. Well, it, it'll be interesting to see if they can do anything to increase his velocity heading into this season. But maybe another interesting kind of uh, off-the-radar guy like that. 